So we're going to build a percentage calculator app with Ionic Creator in less than 10 minutes. Let's see if we can do it. So first thing we're going to do is new project, and we are going to call it percentage calculator 2. And we'll set it to blank, create a project. And it's going to bring us to the screen. And the first thing we want to do is change the title to percentage calculator. All right. Now, next thing we're going to do is drag over a card. I don't like this item here. I don't like this picture. And get rid of this music thing. And we're going to get rid of this text box also. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag over two input boxes. First, second input box. And we're going to need a button as well. And uh, we're going to need a list item to display the results. Now, what I'm going to do is go back to percentage calculator at the very top. And we're going to get rid of padding, scrolling, and header margin. I don't like those things. And let's go into uh, the card and let's make it full width, nice and wide. All right. So now let's go into the first input item and we're going to name it uh, first number. And the type is going to be a number type placeholder. Let's give an example of, say, 75. We're going to go into the second input box and we're going to name it um, second number. And the type is going to be number. Placeholder, let's give an example of, say, 1550. All right. Oh, and for label style, I like stacked. Okay. Nice. Everything looks good so far. Let's go down to the button. And for button, we want to call it calculate. All right. That's it for now. And we want to go into the list item and we want to name it result colon and nothing else for now. So I think it looks okay. Oh, let's add a paragraph in between the first and second number. Right. Drag it over here. And we are going to say first number is what percentage of second number? For it and let's preview real quick. I think our UI looks good so far. We can fix the spacing and everything later. All right, that was good. And we're gonna jump into the code now. All right, nothing to be scared of. This is very simple code. Inside this function, we're gonna do scope dot data. It's equal. It's equal to an object. Inside the object, we're gonna do. Um, num1 is set to empty num2 is also set to empty and also for result we want to set it to empty as well now we're going to make a function called calculate the function that's going to calculate our result so we're going to set result equals to oh sorry we have to do this that result because it's inside the object so um we're gonna do this that result is equal to this dot num1 times 100 and we're gonna wrap this in parentheses that way this operation happens first right and we're gonna divide that by num2 and the statement, and I think this is all the code that we need in here. All right, now let's go back to Ionic Creator, and we're gonna click on the first numbers field, and what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add an Angular directive. We're gonna do ng-model, and we're gonna set it to um, data.num1. And we're gonna go into the second input, and we're going to add another directive, same thing, ng-model, ng and we're going to put the value as uh, data.num2. All right. So I just realized I made a mistake in the code here. I forgot to put this.num2. So that would trip us up later if we can fix it. Save it. 
Okay. Now go back to Ionic Creator, and we are go going to uh, the button, the calculate button, and we're going to add an Angular directive called ng click, and that's going to help us when when we click the button, it's going to run our function uh, calculate, and it's going to be data dot calculate. Okay, but make sure you put the parentheses in the end because it's, we're running a function. And then we're going to go into the result field. And behind it, we're going to do uh, some text interpolation. And we, in these brackets, we're going to put data dot result. And probably towards the end, we want to add a percentage sign. So it looks nice and neat. All right, now we got to go back to the top and let's save everything and let's preview real quick to see if it's working okay first number let's say 75 1550 click calculate boom beautiful it's working just fine but i don't like this long number so let's make it into two decimal places okay how we do that is pretty simple we go back to result uh field this item and what we do is behind data that result we just do a pipe and we do a uh, number colon two angular knows how to um by doing this angular knows how to what to do with it to make it two decimal places all right so now make sure it's saved go back to the top preview and boom i think it's working great 4.84 percent okay two decimal places beautiful now if there's one more thing we want to do real quick um let's center let, let's make the result text uh red so it's easier to read and let's make it center i'm gonna add a class of center but we haven't defined it yet so let's go into the css and make a class for center text align Center, save, cancel, get out, and let's go back to the top, preview, boom. So now we have this nice result here in the center. Um, what we want to do also is space out the space out the, the text so it doesn't look funny like that. Let's see, spacer, spacer, where is my spacer? Slider, container, okay, right here. So we're going to space it out a little bit like this and go back to the top, preview, boom. That looks a lot better, but let's make this text a little lighter, gray, and go back to the top, preview, everything looks good. So now we have a nice app that can calculate the percentage of a number, right? And this is a nice mobile app that you can easily um, push to Android Play Store or the Apple App Store. Or if you want, the easiest way would actually be to export it and, you know, download it as a zip file, uh, unzip it, and upload it to GitHub, and then use GitHub Pages to display it as a, a working web app. So there you have it.